Not that I don't uh, like trying other ones, though. But that does sound interesting. I've never been a big fan of lemongrass, though. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't do it for me. Thing in the fire. No, I was wondering if we get some stardust. Are you the okay? Okay. Fair enough. If it's more more towards the lemon rather than the lemon grass, then I, I might be uh, more inclined. Oh, this is the library then. This is incredible. This is the knowledge source of emptiness. Go look for anything you want. <clears throat> the entire wall is filled with books. Whoa. Big library. Maybe we can find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. The only thing that qualifies... Oh, fair enough. Doesn't looking at these things all the time have an effect on you? Misspelled effect. Oops. It made me wise. Coco feels dizzy. <laughs> Gigantos knows to books. Here is something about dragons. It also talks about dragoons too. We can say that the Serdian War was started from the dragoon spirit that was brought by Lloyd. Let's pick up and look. Let's just do it. I guess I have to use my brain for the first time in a long time. Can Congo read human words? If Rose were here, she'd tell us a lot. They'll be back when they finish with their errands. We have to do what we can now. Where are they? I like. Where are they? I don't know where I'm looking. I don't appear to be able to actually do anything. I can't examine any of the books, it seems. Interesting. Oh, what are we up here? I'm just spamming the X button right now. Real relics from Neat. We are the next we'll see Neat. The tragic village. Stone plate of people with wings. The painting of the divine tree. Oh, hang on. Depiction of dragoons. Okay. And beginning and ending of the dragon campaign. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Well. I guess talk to these guys. This book talks about the dragoons. The dragoons from legend? Yes, it is. The heroes of the dragon campaign. According to this, we are the first new dragoons to come along since that time. Maybe. Dragoons are to be called when history requires them. When history requires them? Is that now? Lavitz was a dragoon, and Graham, Dole, and Lanus too. Were their deaths necessary? That is what only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. However, it all started out from the Dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. If Lloyd is a part of history, that is necessary, eh? And our journey seems to be dragged along by his fate. In spite of the fact that they were humans, the seven heroes who led the Dragoon camp Dragon campaign to victory 11,000 years ago crossed the sky and cast spells. After they fulfilled their roles, they vanished with the Dragoon spirits as if it were some unavoidable fate. She's doing sketchy shit, and Maru's being berated by her parents. I think she went back to find her childhood friend because she saw Dart and Shana. Maybe. I don't know. This legend seems to be telling us that after this journey, we will vanish. Oh boy. <clears throat> Interesting. Are you done with your research? It doesn't seem like it. Take your time. This is a marvellous place. It seems all the wisdom that humans can possibly know is here. I'm reading a book on politics now. This very... Can you do politics after we take care of Lloyd? Y yes, yes indeed. Now, let me read the portion that talks about dragons. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species of all 107 creatures given life by the divine tree. 
Their attacks and life power overwhelm others. However, the creator saw created a balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Therefore, they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the dragon campaign 11,000 years ago, they had fierce battles against virages manipulated by wingdies and couldn't avoid being annihilated. But they weren't annihilated like the book says. True. And again, they are ruled by the dragoons. I'll look for more. Uh, Shana, what you got? Shana, did you find out something? This book's talking about divine moon objects, but they're just divine objects from a legend to begin with. There are no details. If we can find out the meaning of the divine moon objects, we think we can find out what Lloyd wants. Okay. Let me read the part I found. After the dragon campaign, humans controlled the continent of Endinus and divided the continent into four and established three new countries. To the east, Sergio. To the south, Tiberoa. To the north, Milsisau. And to the west of the continent, the untouched land, the death frontier. Oh, that sounds inviting, doesn't it? Oh, I'm just going to pop for a little holiday into the death frontier. Sounds great. Each country shared three divine objects inherited from the Wingleys as proof of their alliance. The divine moon objects are said to conceal magical power. However, their usage is unknown. Mmm. Cozy weekend getaway, yeah. Exactly. Sounds really lovely. Okay. Usage is unknown. Hmm. His mystery must be hidden in there. I'll look into it more. What about Congo? It's about Wingleys, I guess. You guess? Congo cannot read human characters. <coughs> Sorry. Congo looks pictures. Let me read it. Wingleys are people with wings of light who employ magical power. They had their glory 11,000 years ago and had enormous magical power that could float colossal cities. Ooh, floating cities. City floats. Yes, it's unimaginable in the current world. They became extinct after the war with humans who were seeking their liberation. But Lanus, who was a wingly, was alive. Besides, us dragoons are supposed to be only a legend. A legend doesn't necessarily tell the truth. Take a look at this picture. Humans and dragons. No, dragoons and dragons. And what is this? Mirage manipulated by wingleys. Mmm, mmm, it led to the dragon campaign. Oh. It looks like we need to talk to the librarian. What do you need? Are you acting superior again? Of course, I am superior. I prefer being a hit with girls over feeling superior. I don't care about those things. It seems you're interested in the dragon campaign. Wing these divine moon objects, dragons and dragoons. These all had something to do with the dragon campaign. Then Lloyd has something to do with the dragon campaign. The dragon campaign is my specialty. Maybe I can be of assistance. Tell me. We only know fragments. I see. This is the legend of the dragon campaign that I know. Oh, cutscene. We're going to get... Yes. There were seven dragoon warriors in the legend of the dragon campaign. Oh, he's got a bit of a crop. Dragoons, reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the gods' fire oh and my. became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the dragoon's cause. Then at last they freed the gods. Without the gods' power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the human age, began. Thereafter, the god 
gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. Ah. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. It's a hell of a voice, isn't it? Very gruff. Uh, I will talk like this for the rest of the stream. That is the story. I can't do that voice. Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. You're already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. Are there more books? No, it contains the historical material of Mills as well. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, they are all historic objects. Uh, uh, cookies. Mom. Um, um, I want cookies. This is something left by the black monster that brought an inferno down on this country. The black monster? It has already been 18 years. A surprising young man like you knows about it. I was born in Neat. God, you a survivor from the village. Oh, another flashback. Nope, not quite. Oh, oh, oh Yoda. Mm. Uh -huh. This is the stained glass of the church neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes, faintly, but I do remember. It was really a monster. These are the only things that survived the black flame. Do you know anything about what happened to Neat back then? Any survivors or... I know only one. Who is that? The second sacred sister of Mil Sassau. Sister Loana. It seems you don't know her. However, I can tell a little about the black monster. There's a legend about the black monster and the moon child. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. It is ironic, but... The people who visit the church in need pray for their own happiness by looking at this stained glass, which shows the legend of the black monster and the moon child. Oh, okay. Another cutscene. <clears throat> Why did the gods create him? The black monster. He appears in various legends. Oh, cookies. As a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. The god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to Earth. Ah. The herald is known to us as the Moonchild. The ah. legend says the Moonchild revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The black monster abhors, hates, and despises it and kills the Moonchild. I think we know his sad karma is endless. Oh. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is a never ending chaos. I think we know who the moon child is. Surely. Surely it's Chana, right? That's why Lloyd wants her. That's why they kidnapped her in the first place. She must be the moon child. Is there supposed to be more narration here? Um. What's happened? Uh. Don't know what happened there. Uh, that's annoying. I don't know how we can, what we can do about that. Oh no, there isn't. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, Rose. Nothing has changed. Uh, obviously, if you know anything about the plot, don't don't reveal it. Even if I say, oh yeah, that must be it. Like, yeah, I don't want to know. Obviously. 
Am I hesitating? It's silly. Okay. Mother. I am back. Mother, it's been a while since the tragic day. I lost my sight. I am able to see today thanks to the love of many people like Seti here. My first girlfriend turned into the moon, yeah. May the divine tree bless all the victims of the tragedy. Who is it? I didn't mean to surprise you. <coughs> you are? Just a traveler. Please don't be alarmed. Hmm, you're not just a traveler. What are you up to, Rose? Hmm. There are people of Neat and my mother sleeping here. Are you here to Are you here to visit the grave too? I guess so. Then you know about Neat? years ago here we go i think we're about to find something interesting out this could be quite big where is princess luvia i will never tell you <sighs> looks like there's wings that the black monster had there interesting very interesting. I... I can't see, Mum. I'm scared. Don't come! Where is Princess Lubia? Where did you hide the moon child? We don't know. What kind of spitefulness do you have towards our village? You want to die with your daughter? Oh. Mom, I'm scared. Princess Luvia left for the sea. This must be enough to satisfy you. Now leave this village. The chance to eliminate the moon child comes only once every 108 years. It's the time of birth when the moon glows a blood color. The newly born moon child has a magic power. That magic power changes everyone around into an evangelist for the god. A servant to help prepare for the descending of the god. Ah! Oh no! My objectives will not be satisfied until I kill every single person who was present as the moon child passed through. Well, answer me! His heart is burning, Mum. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Yeah, it's like, let me tell you everything. Then I'm going to go. It was a miracle that I survived. I see. Then you were blinded back then. Yes. However, the God imparted me with something else. Sister Luana can see people's souls. She can feel their pain too. Because of this, Sister Luana has suffered. Now I can appreciate this power that I have because it allows me to heal the pain in people's hearts. If you need to heal the pain in your heart, please tell me. I can help you. That's not necessary. By the way, are you done? Yes, I will go back to Deningrad soon. May I join you? Even if you are with knights, the forest is filled with dangerous monsters. I can protect you from them. I see, then I'll ask you to come with us. Alright. She's on her way to Deningrad then. 
Hmm. The black monster plot thickens. Oh, the home of Maru. <laughs> Is there a home in the forest? Yeah. It's been a long time. I wonder if everybody's doing all right. I wonder if they feel lonely without me. Whoa. Hey, watch out. Who is this coming through the boundary? Who, who are you not knowing me? Maru? Is that you, Maru? Waraha? Oh! Oh! Long time no see, you look great. Do you think I'm really great? How could you leave without telling me? Where have you been? He, hey, I came all the way back here. You don't need to yell at me. Aren't you happy to see me? I'm very happy to see you. But leaving the forest is our taboo. You left the forest, so I don't know if everybody else in the forest will forgive you, Maru. Who cares about taboos? Everybody in this forest? And the humans outside? Both of us are living in the same world. How can we have to draw a line and lock ourselves in like this? Ah, that was the bit that we couldn't go in, I bet, in the forest where they said it was off limits. That's what I want to know. I've been living in this forest forever. I wish I knew. I'm going to ask the ancestor. I won't ask you anymore. Okay. Wait a minute. Maru, are you leaving again? I haven't asked anything of the ancestor yet. Do you think I really... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. New mechanic. Teleporters. Interesting. So, these are all winglies and they're hiding in the forest. So, Maru is a wingly. Interesting. I'm home. Oops, seems I'm not that welcome. It's Maru. Maru is back. <clears throat> this is my home. I can come home anytime. Such selfishness is not tolerated. There is no place to come home to, Maru. But... That's true. Hmm. You are the black sheep of the Proud Winglies. How dare you shamelessly come back? I thought you were satisfied with your decadent human life, weren't you? Bartel, what are you talking about? Go back to the humans. And wait there for the moment we destroy the humans. S Stop it! The ancestor! You left the forest on your own volition. How come you came back? I just wanted to see everybody. Leaving the forest was an unforgivable mortal sin. Didn't you know that when you left for the world of humans? As well as that, you could never come back here. Yes, I did, but it's strange. The world is 100 times bigger than this forest. There are, of course, bad humans, but there are many good ones too. You never met them and you shouldn't hate them. There are people who hate and detest humans just because they are humans. Their number is few. We just want to protect our life. That's all. Humans have always been afraid of the magic power of Winglies. The fear <laughs> eventually turns itself into a need to tyrannize us and take some action, either to subjugate or kill Winglies. That's why we need our own world, like this forest where humans cannot enter. Go back to the other world. Your existence angers the others. Is she half human? I understand. I'll leave. Maru! Mother! Leave the girl alone! Father, you must be kidding. That's the rule. We're going.
Oh dear. Mother, father. It must be hard for you, but we must go back, Maru. Get out of our forest at once. Aw, poor Maru. She just wanted to go home. Oh. Grow, what, what are you doing? Quiet. I want to talk between just the two of us. It seems you received a horrible welcome. It's nothing to me. Stop talking tough, Maru. It was just a bad time and everybody is feeling tense lately. Is that my fault too? Just the two of us. Oh. Recently the earth is surging. Don't you feel it, Maru? You see, he's sort of dancing. It I can't get over that. I've been feeling it a little. The animals in the forest are acting savage. This must be the cause. But what is this? Ancestor blood. I said it. It's an omen of a dragon coming back to life. And it's not the usual one. Even our ancestors who had much stronger magic power couldn't defeat it. Hi, Ismarka. How are you doing? Well, what kind of dragon's that? It's the strongest dragon of all. The king of dragons with seven magical eyes. The divine dragon. Divine dragon? Your ancestor says the seal is half dissolved. That's why everybody's nervous. But we have a dragon buster and a dragon block staff, don't we? The sword for killing dragons, the dragon buster, has been lost. It wasn't me. We know, but because it was hidden with the staff in a place that only the ancestor could open. And the talk you wanted between just the two of us is about the dragon? That too. But what I really wanted to tell you was something else. Maru, don't leave me. I want you to be at my side. I can protect you if everybody opposes you. <coughs> You're kind as always, but if you do, you'll be hated as well. I've got to go. Everybody's waiting for me. You have friends. They're all cool. They show me and teach me many things. Ciao. Maru. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Well, well, well. Oh. Is this the dragon? Well, this looks friendly. <clears throat> like a nice holiday spot. Yep. Seems to be chained up right now, but <clears throat> some of them are breaking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, thank you, someone, for using my humble link. Yeah, the cutscenes are fantastic, aren't they? Humble store purchase made for twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence. Ah, bravely the Humble default. store purchase made for twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence. How does he read it out twice? Thanks for using my link, dude. It's very kind. Bum, 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 bum. What are you going to do? Are you going to pursue that man, Lloyd? <clears throat> when you get time, go visit Neat. You can't change the past, however, you can face it. By facing it, maybe you can find out where you are from and where you want to go. Okay. 
Oh, we've had a lot of information thrown at us, haven't we? I guess he wasn't just a snob. Well, we have to wait for Rose and Maru. Huh? Anything wrong? No, I just felt a little shiver, that's all. I feel something is wrong. <clears throat> hmm. Very interesting. That was a lot of, uh, yeah, that was a lot of info there. Okay. I was going to say, what happens when we go to Neat? It's, we're not going to like the look of it, are we? Uh, but we will find out tomorrow.